hello guys welcome back to the channel in today's video we're going to talk about how we can customize our status bar in blazer hybrid application now the status bar it is the bar on top of your mobile phone so when you check my emulator running where we have the time and now the the battery the signals and etc all these this lines what i'm talking about the status bar now in dotnet maui we can use the maui toolkit to do that easily well, one of in case you're working with a uh, blazer hybrid app and if you don't want to implement dotnet mari before we jump right into this make sure you have subscribed to this channel and also like this video if you're able to learn something at the end of it let's see now in order to work with this we go to the solution we have this platform folder open it now we have the platforms here let's first focus on the android and then ios We want to check if the SDK version is greater or equal to this lollipop. Then we want to set the status bar color. We provide in um, a color number, as you can see from here. So this is just a dummy one that I've provided. Then we want to set the flags. That is the color of the icon. So here we want to switch from dark to um, light. Oh, amazing. So you can see that we have the color over here set. Now we have the icon set color as what well, dark. Now if you want to set that, let's see. So instead of ha having this, we can go and let's make a duplicate, comment this, and let's clear all this and set this to zero. Now let's rerun it again and check this out. Okay, so you can see that it's now launching, but we want to focus on the top here. You can see the first one was dark and now we have white, isn't it? So by switching up this and that, you can switch between our um, dark icons and also light icons. And you can also set the background using this line. So only two lines of code. You can now in full control of your status bar. All right, how do we do this when working with an iOS? Although I'm not having an iOS emulator <laughs> here, but I'll show you the code. So when you have an iOS, you can try and now um um give the community feedback okay so let's see how we can do that uh, we go to the platform for android no for ios and now in here we want to check from this app delegate and we can put it here Now, I want to check this. We are implementing this for iOS. We want to check from the version of 13.0 and later. That is where you want to apply this. We first check, uh, when you check this, we first want to set the style. So we want to set up for this light content and we also have dark content. So as shown in Android, it's the same thing over here. We can make it dark whereby you see the icons um, to be dark. And now when you make it light, you see the icons to be white. You can change or toggle them and choose the type of um, color that you want to apply. Now, when you go to or when you come to the background color, that's where you need to provide the value for this UI um, model. And now in that, it takes in a parameter, like a property 
where you should provide a value to it now this color you can decide to choose a single color here from i think we have from black we have blue brown and etc you can also use color combination and that is what you want to use from red green blue right so we have our rgb um, color and we want to pass on the values over here so this is going to calculate and give us a color that we have provided and then at the end we want to pass or set the status bar in here you want to apply so in this simple way you can also uh, manage or set the background now the icon color of your I, um, ios application so we have seen how we can manage the android and the ios status bar by changing the background color and also the icon color as well i'll leave the source code in the description so if you want to grab it and review we can just go to the description and then grab it if you haven't subscribed then do not forget um, make sure you do subscribe before you go and also like the video in case you've learned something new and doing that pushes this video for a lot of people to see and it helps this channel as well all right so thank you for watching this and hopefully i'm going to catch up again until then take care